We got our paint, we got a roller, we're ready to go. So we get a couple taps, we get a little bit of paint on there. And I like to always start at the top, okay? So I'm gonna start at the top. Let's get our brush right in there. I'm gonna cut along the top line. Go down, across, very lightly. Let's go ahead and take this down. So we're basically cutting in this edge here. We're really trying not to get any paint over the side. Let me see if I can show you guys. So we're here, right? So we want to keep the paint inside this edge. I got a little bit over right there. When that happens, very lightly, actually I have a rag on me, I don't know why I use my finger, but take a little rag. Oops. <clears throat> I'm trying to look in the camera as I do stuff, so it's kind of a little tough, but just take a rag and we don't push over. We just keep it flat and flush to the door and that will take off any extra off the sides. So the reason for that is if you see my other video where I explain how I paint doors, I do all this inside first, this panel, I do all the panels, and then I'm gonna be doing this area last. So if I get this paint there, and by the time I get back to it, it's gonna be a little set up, a little tacky, and a little dry. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna make it look ugly. Okay, see this little thing? You see brush marks on this? That's from somebody doing that. So I'm showing you guys how to make it so you don't get ugly brush marks, you don't get ridges, lines, all that. So 